The new unified story presentation mode is live and was inspired by the SAP Analyst Cloud Digital Boardroom. All of the main features of the traditional boardroom have been integrated directly into the optimized experience. And today I'm going to quickly walk you through these new features that are now in the optimized story experience. Uh, the new features that I will be covering in this video include the import of story pages, building a presentation structure, customizing the presentation mode experience, and present mode. First, I'm going to walk you through the new ability to import story pages. Uh, this new ability to import story pages can be accessed when adding a page to a story from either the page tab right here or from the uh, story panel right here. Uh, for this example, I'm going to be using this button. And as you can see, when I click that button, it opens up an add story panel that shows all of the files that I have in the current tenant that I'm working in. An important thing to note is that you're not going to be able to import any stories unless you at least have read access to them. Uh, so for the sake of this example, I'm going to be using this filter story that does not have a ton on it, but it is a good example. By selecting that, I can see all of the pages that are in my filter story. Uh, notice how page two has nothing on it, so I'm really only going to take page one here. Once that's selected, I'm going to go over here and click import and watch as this slowly imports. It is pretty quick and it will let me know right away once it's succeeded. I'm going to go ahead and hit done. And now you can see this is the page that I just imported to my story. And here's the original page that was in my story beforehand. So now then I'm going to save this page. Now that we have added this second page into our story, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can build your own presentation structure to guide the presenter of a page. To create a presentation structure, you can either open the story settings button here and go into presentation settings, which will open up this page, or you can select presentation right here. This is the default for the presentation settings. As you can see, there is no presentation structure right now. This is known as a flat presentation. And like I said before, it is the default for all stories. So a presentation structure is not required by any means. If you would like a presentation structure, it is pretty straightforward to implement. I'm going to start off by clicking create first topic right here. And I'm going to go ahead and rename that something random like financial forecast. Once I have my first topic right here, I'm going to take my first page and drag that right in there. Next, I can either add another topic or a subtopic. I'm going to add another topic this time and then add a subtopic to this topic. And I'm going to take our second page that we just imported earlier and put that right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit save and save my story. Once my story has been saved, I'm going to go over and open the story in present mode. And right away, you're going to notice over here on the left hand side, my presentation structure appears with my financial forecast in page one. And if I open up the second topic that I created, you will see the subtopic that I created, which houses the second page that we just imported earlier. Next, I'm going to introduce you to the new configuration options that have been added to present mode. These new options really enhance the presentation mode experience by allowing you to configure the toolbar, the default page view, and the new navigation menu. I'm going to go ahead and reopen our story here in present mode so that we can see the toolbar. As you can see right now, this is the new toolbar and it is currently floating. So that means you can drag and place it wherever you'd like. This is the default setting for the toolbar. It can even be minimized and moved out of the way if you'd like to see everything on the screen and re-expanded if needed. While this is a cool feature, it is also an option to either set this toolbar to the top or bottom of the screen if you do not like the floating aspect of it, which I will show you how to do now. So you're gonna go back into your story settings, view time settings, and go to your toolbar. This is the toolbar for the view mode as we can see, so you're gonna make sure you switch over to the present mode. And right now you can switch right here under the view, view toolbar from floating to set, and you can either select it at the top or the bottom. I'm going to keep it at the top right now, and I'm gonna keep the automatically show and hide toolbar box checked. I'm gonna hit apply. I'm going to resave my story, close out our previous presentation mode, open presentation mode, and now you'll see that the toolbar, oh, you just saw it for a second up there. It's at the top of the screen. I just have to drag my mouse up to the top of the screen to check it out. If you don't like that it appears and disappears as you go to it, you can pin it, which will keep it at the very top of the screen right here with this button. Or if you'd like the toolbar to de default pinned anywhere on the screen, 
you can go back to those settings in your view time settings toolbar go over to the present toolbar on check this automatically show in high toolbar this will make sure that the toolbar shows up uh, initially as pinned so i will do this and do that so you can see it on the bottom and when it is unpinned i'm going to apply save my story and then i'm going to open in present mode and now you can see it automatically loads in as pinned and on the bottom of my screen this still allows me to unpin it so that will go away if i would like it to next i'm going to show you the default viewer configuration uh, users now have the ability to configure the default mode that the story will open in when the story is viewed uh, to access this you're going to go over here and click this navigation button right here and it's going to open up that navigation panel for you before i go into detail here i want you to know that the view mode defaults have not changed uh, so if you select right here view mode none of this will be relevant uh, if you select present mode, you can make all of the changes to the story and it will be viewed in present mode as we spoke about before. So this option by switching it from view mode to present mode will mean that the, the story will always open in present mode by default. This will show you whether or not the navigation panel will be open on uh, upon page opening or if you want it collapsed. So if I switch it to collapsed, when I open the page, it won't be viewed and then you can expand it out. Uh, and these are how you navigate through your uh, pages. So it can either be done through tabs, a drop down, or you don't have to use it at all, and you can use this left navigation panel. Lastly, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail regarding this navigation panel that is in present mode. So to do that, I'm going to start off by opening this put this story in present mode. Now that we have our story open and ready in present mode, uh, I just wanted to show you because I selected for the navigation panel to be collapsed upon page opening, we do not see it here right now. Uh, in order to get this navigation panel back, I'm going to click this button right here, and it's going to load right back up. Uh, the navigation panel is, is interesting because it can be viewed in three different ways mostly. Uh, the first one is pinned, like so. So when it's collapsed, all of the content on the page moves back over, and when it's opened, all the content on the page is collapsed. Now, this is because it's pinned. If I unpin it, it will overlay the content on the page. If I close it, the page stays the same. Open it, overlays again. The last thing that you can do with the navigation panel in terms of viewing it is you can even detach it, which is kind of like this floating toolbar up here. So you can do the same thing in that sense. If you want to put it back, you just anchor it back over there. It'll go back to unpinned, and then you can repin it if you'd like it to be the same way it was when we started. Also, it's important to note that this panel has a page and filter tab, navigation filter tab. Uh, the navigation tab, as we saw, allows you to seamlessly navigate through your pages uh, if you choose to create a structure for it. Uh, and this filters tab gives users access to all filters that are affecting the entire page that they are viewing. So as you can see, this page has no filters affecting anything on the page. I go to navigation and I go to our page that we imported, reopen this menu, and go to filters. You will see that there is a business unit filter here. 